this one is the Ogakata of them all. <laughs> you know, I've mentioned things that are important. I've said empathy is important. I've said listening skill is important. Everything here too is very much important. I've said being meticulous is so vital. This one, conflict, resolu conflict resolution is the Ogakata of them all. It can determine whether you will be in that company or whether you will leave. It can determine whether you will stay with people or whether you will leave. It can determine, it can make or, make or mar your career journey. It can determine if, your, if the years of experience you have in company A hey, is two years, is one year, is six months, or is four years. It's so very important. Conflict resolution skill. Hmm. All right, I'll go into this shortly. Conflict, conflict resolution skill is also known as problem solving skill. For every issue, um, for every issue that a transaction encounters, a customer service person should be ready at hand, like I said before, with information of company's procedure that will help guide through the solution. The ones beyond the customer service person should be escalated. If you have a physical attack, a customer that comes to you to attack you physically as a customer service person, if you are seeing that the hand that this customer is carrying, this customer wants to land it somewhere, one of the things you can do to protect yourself from it is ensure that you are not the one, you are, you are not alone with the customer. When you have a working customer, ensure that you are not the only one there. You either have a colleague with you, you have a security personnel around you, you have your manager around you, or somebody that can help handle the situation where the customer wants to descend. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm laughing, but it might be funny, but I'm I'm sorry to say some people go through this. In some organizations they do. Some customer service person go through this. You know, these are amusing to laugh. It can even be their daily experience. Where you have a situation where some customers just get um, um, uh, overboard and then just be, become physical with the customer service person. So for working customer that is angry and that you see that is venting, the first thing you do is that you are not alone with the customer. Ensure that your colleague, somebody is with, around you to defend you if anything gets physical. Just have the company principle as, at hand. So you are saying, oh, ma, we really apologize, but we will help do this, take it to the next level of management straight. If you are not the team lead, take it to the customer service team lead. If the customer service team lead has sought this and the customer is still insisting that this is not enough, escalate it to the next level of management. Take it to the um, group head, take it to the group manager, take it to the team head, take it to the uh, board of director until that... Um, particular issue is solved, particular problem is solved. Don't just let it rest. Try as much as possible to um to detonate every um issue that arise. With humility, number one, listen very well. Let the customer run. When you listen very well, it has in with humility. Just listen. Know that this person is not angry with me. The person is venting. You are calm. You are saying, "Man, so sorry." Some will say, "Shut up! Don't ever tell me sorry. Don't ever." You who are very, very known. You are do. You are this. You are that in this company. Just be patient. As a customer, is reacting. Be patient. Be patient until you now follow those process of helping the customer resolve the conflict. All right. That's that about conflict resolution. And I think um, one of the things I didn't put here because of time was follow up the customer service person has to be a follow up person that means the someone that gives feedback in time both to customers the necessary units that are, are important and also to the company that they work all right let's move from here we spent about an hour already but if you're enjoying this class just say something just say something at least you have been listening for about an hour just say something let me know that i'm not alone in this class is what um, we are hearing, is it making sense? Does it make sense? Yes, um, we are not alone. We are with you. Okay. <laughs> I'm with you. Okay. All right. I'm with you and I'm enjoying it. So all right. All right. All right. Thank you so much. I'm waiting on others. Let me get the yeah, feedback. You know, we're, we're following up. 
All right, thank you so much. Another person 